No, no, it's, it's, it's done. It's done. <laughs> Time's run out. There you have it. That was a challenge done. Robbie came out on top with two penalties out of two. Hi, guys. I'm here at Bloomsbury Football at a young girls' training session in the centre of London, North London, to be precise. And it is great to see so many young girls get into the spirit of football, especially with the Euros this summer. It's going to be an epic summer. And I thought we'll come down here, join the training session and bring two of my associates, my interns, my assistants with me, Robbie and Ty. We're going to do some challenges and it's going to be epic. Stay tuned. Come on, Ty. Come on, Ty. Get out of my way. Why you, why you, why, why you, why you, why you, get out of my way. Why are you, why are you trying to put me off? Go to the orange ball. So, Izzy from Boosby Football, tell us a bit about what Boosby Football do. Cool, so we are a London based grassroots football charity. We believe in the power of football to really change the game. And like, I know that people say that, but what does it really mean? What it means is that like, we believe that our sessions like we're running today with our girls, they improve mental and physical health, yeah. they teach life skills, and they really like, they bring a lot of people together, like they foster social cohesion. So that's what we're doing. And we believe that everyone should have the opportunity to access that regardless of background. So yeah. that's what we do at Bloomsbury. Speaking of access, what has it yeah. been like recruiting girls to come mm. and join Bloomsbury? Because when I was growing up, I had nothing like this. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, my personal experience, like I was growing up as well in a world where it was not a thing that girls played football. Yeah. Like I wasn't given the opportunity at school. I didn't see myself in these spaces. So working at Bloomsbury now and seeing the excitement of these girls and the talent of these girls and the fact they come together and they make friends and they have fun. Yeah. For me personally, that's really inspiring. And obviously we've got the Euros coming up this yes. summer, less than a month away yeah. and just seeing how much coverage and get they're getting and how amazing the players are. And just like the national excitement, I think is, really good for Bloomsbury, we're bringing more girls in yeah. and the more we grow, the more, you know, the women's game grows, the more girls we're getting in. That's what's so special about the grassroots is that, you know, they're not necessarily here to play pro. A lot of them will do that, but what we want them to do really is have fun yeah. and believe and see like, that football is a place for everyone. Like it's everyone's game. Yeah. And so they're here and we want them to look back one day and be like, yeah, I play with Bloomsbury and I only have good memories. Yeah. So whether they make it pro or not, we want them to have football throughout their lives and just have fun. So we're down here at Bloomsbury Football with one of the academy players, Teresa. How are you? Good, thank you. Good to be here with Robbie and Ty as well. Now we're down here at the girls session, an amazing training session. What what inspired you to get involved in a training session here at Bloomsbury? Well, I love Bloomsbury because it's a charity and I think it supports a lot of kids that maybe can't pay for a football club or aren't fortunate enough to play football. And I think that Bloomsbury has really supported the girls team and they've really built um, a really strong girls team. And yeah. So what age group are you and do you play in? in? Under 14. Okay. And how did you get involved at Bloomsbury? Um, a friend recommended it to me and at first I was really afraid to join Bloomsbury because I thought it was like a high pressure zone but it's really like non-judgmental -jud and yeah. yeah and, um, what player, who is your favourite player? Men's or women's? Either. Oh, one um, from each? One from each, yeah, one from each. I think like my ultimate favourite player is Sam Kerr. Yeah. Um, okay, goal she's, scorer. Good. she's good. Yeah, because I, I mean she's I like... golden boot, isn't it? Yeah. I like Chelsea, but she's just... Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Pardon? Um, <laughs> they are a great side though, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're women's team I really yeah. like. Um, and she's a really good inspiration for mm. young girls. And men's? Um, Mbappe, maybe. Yeah. So you like the Mbappe. strikers then? Are you goal scorer? I try to be, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do well, you, you normally play? Striker. Okay, yeah. Strikers, what, what are you looking for this season? How many goals are you looking to get? Um, more than 10, maybe. I don't know. Uh, double digits is always good. That's double digits, man. That's good. It'd be more than him. <laughs> I mean, I need well, to, I need it'd be to more than him as well. Teach him how to kick and more properly. than her as well. I mean, definitely more <laughs> nah, than him. Right. You don't have to bring me into this. I can't you don't, play. You don't, you don't have to. You, don't you are have to right, do. though. What, I've, what I like about um, what I'm watching here, with the girls training and that, is that it's like you said, everybody's just. Everyone's, everyone's really into it, you know? Yeah. Everyone's looks like they're really dedicated to what's going on. That's fantastic. Some girls want to go into football, but they don't know how. What would you say to them? Um, well, I think, uh, I mean, just research. And there's always a local club. Um, if not, I mean, just play, like go to the park. I think any sport just benefits you. Like it doesn't even have to be for health. I think 
mental health is just such a big benefit. Um, so it doesn't even need to be in a club, it can just be with your friends. Um, and then if you're more into it, a local team or... Like Bloomsbury. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so then the last question. If anybody wanted to join Bloomsbury, give an advert for why they should join Bloomsbury. So you should join Bloomsbury because it's a team that's open to any levels and any players. Um, they work very hard with helping the less fortunate people, uh, as it's a charity. And uh, Bloomsbury Girls team is starting to become a really good team, and the more the merrier. So. Amazing, okay. Thank you. love Brilliant. that. Joined by Marwa, who's part of the academy here. How do you find it here? What's it like being part of Bloomsbury football? Uh, it's really fun, like they're very inclusive, like tournaments every Sunday and Friday we've got matches it's just like really good and it's like a fun community to be around. So are you from the local area? Uh, yeah. And how did you manage to join up to Bloomsbury? Uh, in football, no in school we was just doing football and then they came and asked and we got in touch and then yeah. So have you always played football? Uh, yeah with my brother growing up we played football together. Just like at home in the garden? Yeah. Is he the one who taught you all your skills and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. So who inspired you other than your brother to get into football? Do you watch football mainly? Yeah, I watch football with my dad a lot. And then it's just like me and my brother watching like the like specific like things and then yeah. Yeah. So is there anyone that like you look at and think, I want to play like them? Hakimi. Especially. Wow. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Big fan? Yeah. Do you support PSG? Not really. Oh, okay, just like the way he plays? Yeah. Who do you support over here in England? Manu. Okay, it's challenge time. Now, if you saw the last episode, Robbie came out victorious the in the penalty shootout with two out of two. Now, this time, it's the Potsbar challenge. Ready, guys? Two goes each. Yeah. Who's going first? Not me, not, not me, me, not me. Sorry, not me. I'll go I'm first lost. again. <laughs> Mo, he's a chicken. Do what you got to do. I mean, do do. I'm here for bants because I've never actually done this before, but we're going to give it our all. What you do I take a run-up? I don't even know. Do I take a run-up, Mo? I don't know. Oh, God. All right, let's go. Oh! Did that count? No. Oh, I'll my gosh. Near, though, near. Oh, oh my gosh. Near. I should have put her up. <laughs> that was a good Who's one. Next? I don't next. I don't next. Nope. I'm not Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Robbie. There's Robbie. Come on, don't I went second last time. Go on, step up, man. I've lost all the time. Come on, here we go. You're trying to put me on? <laughs> well done, people. I can't believe it. You're next. No, I'm lost. No, I, I said left, right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You've got to take it anyway. Don't this guy, man. Anybody, don't let anybody put you off. <laughs> what you said about him, keep that. People don't even know who he is. For you to say that, that's what keep talking about. Don't let anybody put you off. Just do what you want. Here we go. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. I'm not even going to say anything. Oh! No, mine should count, you know. Like, <laughs> I made the frame shake. <laughs> See what I can do. Here we go. What's Ooh! that? Oh, <laughs> that's a good technique. What's that? What did you do? I might try that. What's that? <laughs> I'm it's not a good technique. You hit over the ball. Don't do that technique, Ma. That was better than you. That was rubbish. That I mean, so it that's not a proper Mama, crossbar challenge. You didn't Mama, kick Mama, it. You heard, you heard what I said. Just do what you have to do. Go do your thing, Ma. Do your thing, girl. Come on, show us how it's done, Ma. You said you got to beat me a crossbar. Should I say it's done, Mo? I never said that. No, 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 Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Look at this. Oh, oh unlucky. unlucky. Great strike, unlucky. I thought that was going to dip down just in time. All right. Take it home. All I've got to do is score this. So What's that? Little, 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 Oh. <laughs> He's done it again. Right, you guys have to you have to get it now. I'm not having him win again. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> That's the dog right hard. there. It's gonna be very hard. Come on, Ty. Come on, Ty. Get out of my way. Why you? Why you? Why, why you? Why you? Get out of my way. Why are you? Why are you trying to put me off? Look at him. Did I try to put you off? You gonna win again, Rob? I'm actually good to cross far, Charlie. Oh. Oh, so close! <laughs> so close. Why, are you, why are you trying to put me off? That rubbish. That's not a proper no, throw. That was really close. Nah, man. That, that, that rush was... cheating. Oh, right. okay. A little lift up like that. That's the way you want it. You didn't see that. Come on, show him that's done. Come on. 
You see next time when you time to take penalties. Why are you getting in my face? <laughs> oh my god. He's not gonna let you hit the end of that. <laughs> no, because no, I didn't one. put him off. Oh, oh lucky gosh, mark. Right, Do one more, one more, one more mark. Oh, oh, just, just oh, over. So close. Well done. Unlucky Mo. Unlucky Mo. You well got done, a great well strike on you. Brilliant strike, brilliant strike. Well, there you have it. The crossbar challenge, two in two. And guess who comes out on top again? The Don. I mean, but we all tried. We came close. How would you get on, Ty? No words. <laughs> All I know is, all I know is that we when I put him off now, he won't be able to say anything because I'm well not putting him off. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I didn't put him off. And when he's trying to put me off, we'll see. Okay, it's challenge time. This time we're joined by Ava for the How's Your Touch Challenge. How's your touch? Woohoo! Concentrate, Ty. Why are you trying to? Why are you talking to me? Ooh, that was Ooh. not bad. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it went outside. Of course he counts. It, 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 it went outside. He was inside. It went outside. 